Hey, this is Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, and today we're going to be talking about closing anterior open bites with elastics. And this graphic that I drew here is an easy way to understand it. Now, of course, picture that your patient is in braces, okay? So we've got braces on. I just want you to understand the elastic um, geometry and how this works. So at this point, first of all, as I always say, take a step back because if your patient has an open bite, it might not be something you can correct with just ortho only without jaw surgery. In that case, you're gonna to need to refer to an orthodontist. So it really depends on the etiology of the open boy bite. And so I always say you need to figure out why it's there first, address that first, and then you can do the braces or address it concurrently. So open bites don't just happen. They can either be skeletal in nature, which is just the way the jaw bones formed, that could be a result of an airway problem, a past or present habit problem, or things that maybe happened in childhood, feeding issues, stuff like that. Bottles, pacifiers, thumb, finger habits, digit habits, stuffed animal habits, pencil habits, stuff like that, right? Or an occluded airway, um, either nasal or pharyngeal. So if you don't address that, you're never gonna be able to retain this open bite. It doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter how many bond your retainers you use. So you gotta figure it out, right? But let's say, for example, this is a 15-year-old patient. Let's say the open bite is only really from canine to canine. It's an anterior open bite only. It's not a posterior open bite. Um, the, more, the smaller the open bite is, the more isolated it is to the anterior teeth. If you've totally corrected the habit and the airway issue, you've done a sleep questionnaire, and you know this is just something that you've now corrected and you just need to fix the sequelae of, and you're sure there's not a tongue thrust, then you might be able to address it if it's anterior only. So there's a lot of layers that go into the complexity of this. So in this case, I mean, this is a pretty exaggerated open bite. This may not be possible to be able to correct stably through braces, even if you fixed all the problems that caused it, okay? But you can give it a shot. That's the main thing you can do. And you definitely would want your patient to sign a compromise form. Um, so they realize that jaw surgery is the best for this patient they've chosen to give it a shot. That way, if it relapses, you're not liable. So you need to make sure you do that. If you don't do that, then you very well may be liable. So um, just be careful in taking these patients. I always recommend that if possible, send them to an orthodontist. At least they can go over what the surgery would be like. If the patient declines the surgery and decides to go with your compromise plan, then so it is. You know, they understood their risk benefits and alternatives. You've documented them, you grabbed a signature, and now you are no longer um, responsible but okay so putting all that aside that's my standard spiel um, anterior box elastic is going to be you can do it um, in a medium elastic as long as you're in night tie I wouldn't do it on a 12 night tie I wouldn't do it on a 14 night tie ideally I'd want to be in an 18 night tie which means we've done most of our leveling aligning and stuff like that first this anterior you're gonna to have to put Kobe hooks on the lateral incisors um, I've got videos on how to do that you can just search up Kobe K-O-B I, and it should come up under my videos, Kobe Hooks. Um, this will probably be 5 sixteenths medium or 1 quarter medium would be my guess, if I had to guess. Um, these side ones, if you may not need to do these. If the, if the anterior open bite is only here, you don't need to do these. But if, it, if there is an open bite that extends to the canines, then you'll probably need to do 3 sixteenths medium on these. Now, if you're already in a rectangular wire, a heavier rectangular wire, you can do heavy. So, but this is only if you're in a round wire, would you do the medium? So again, one quarter or 5 sixteenths medium on the anterior trapezoid or box. Um, if you needed to add these triangles on the sides, um, probably 3 sixteenths medium. And if that is if you're in 18 night tie, if you're in a rectangular wire, you can do um, heavy. So hopefully that helps. Um, remember, again, once you correct this, you most likely are going to need a canine to canine bonded retainer covered by an Essex as well. So there's a lot that you're going to need to retain this, and there's no guarantee it's going to retain. If the patient does have a tongue thrust, forget it, it's not going to retain. So be really careful in picking these cases. All right, hopefully that helps. Thank you so much.